this is the debt relief geezer again. I'm going to talk today about how you prioritize your debt for the sake of attacking your debts to destroy them. You write down your time payment accounts in this case. There are 10. Then you simply take the total balance due for each account and you divide it by the min minimum required payment. Then you write that value down to to the nearest tenth. In this case it's 13.7 on this account. In this case 17.8. The case of the mortgage is 77.5 and so forth. The truck loan here is 27.8. The car loan 32.9. This finance company account is 19.7 and so forth. Then you just take the one with the smallest value and you put in the position of bill one. The second smallest value is bill two. And the third smallest value is bill three and so forth. And it looks something like this. So we have the first bill to attack. Bill 1 is this credit card, 13.7. Bill 2, store revolving account, 17.8. Bill 3, 19.7. Bill 4, 20.4. Bill 5, a store revolving account, is 21.6. And so forth. You go through the 10 accounts. The mortgage should have the highest value and should be in the tenth position, the, the, the last position. In this case, the ten accounts, so the mortgage is bill ten. And uh, the, what most people recommend is attacking the debt with the highest interest charge. That is logical, I like that, but it fails to take into account that there are some bills that have a much smaller balance even though the the interest charge is low. This method balances the impact of the interest charge, the uh, relative balances owed, overall balances owed on each account, and how they set the minimum required payment which is usually a percentage of the balance in the case of credit cards, store revolving accounts. So, I think this is a good way of doing it. There, there are people who sell software packages that help you prioritize your debt. So there may actually be a more efficient way of attacking debt than this, but the way I look at it is you're already in trouble with your indebtedness, in trouble with the bill, the amount of money you own bills, and you probably don't want to buy an additional product like a software package. So I think this is a good way to do it. So uh, that's the method that I use and a lot of other people that I've read about use to prioritize the debt and decide the order that they're going to go after their bills. So your target bill in this case is bill one and then so forth. As you destroy, you destroy Bill 1, then you go up there Bill 2, and so forth. That's all we're going to talk about today. Next time we're going to talk about something I call the survival crutch.